good day to you folks. What's on my mind? Fungi? And now I'd like to read the introduction to this mega book by Paul Stamets, titled Growing Gourmet and Medicinal Mushrooms. Let's do a little bit of a story time, shall we? Mushrooms. <laughs> so cool. Okay, here we go. Humanity's use of mushrooms extends back to Paleolithic times. It's old. They've been around. Few people, even anthropologists, comprehend how influential mushrooms have been in affecting the course of human evolution. They have played pivotal roles in ancient Greece, India, and Mesoamerica. True to their beguiling nature, fungi have always elicited deep emotional responses, from adulation by those who understand them, to outright fear by those who do not. The historical record reveals that mushrooms have been used for less than benign purposes. Claudius II and Pope Clement VII were both killed by enemies who poisoned them with deadly amanitas. Buddha died, according to legend, from a mushroom that grew underground. Buddha was given the mushroom by a peasant who believed it to be a delicacy. In ancient verse, that mushroom was linked to the phrase pig's foot, but has never been identified. Although truffles grow underground and pigs are used to find them, no deadly poisonous species are known. The oldest archaeological record of probable mushroom use is a Tassili image from a cave dating back 5,000 years BC. The artist's intent is clear. Mushrooms with electrified auras are depicted, outlining a bee-masked dancing shaman. The spiritual interpretation of this image transcends time and is obvious. No wonder the word bee mushrooms has evolved to reflect the devout mushroom lover's state of mind. In the fall of 1991, hikers in the Italian Alps came across the well-preserved remains of a man who died over 5,300 years ago, approximately 1,700 years later than the Tassili cave artist. Dubbed the Iceman, or Oetzi, by the news media, he was well-equipped with a knapsack, a flint axe, a string of dried birch polypores, mushrooms, a tinder fungus, and another as yet unidentified mushroom that many have said may have had magical spiritual significance. Polypores can be used as spunk for starting fires and medicine for treating wounds. Further, a rich tea with immuno-enhancing and antibacterial properties can be prepared by boiling these mushrooms. Equipped for traversing the high alpine wilderness, this intrepid adventurer had discovered the value of the noble polypores. Even today, this knowledge can be life-saving for anyone astray in the wilderness. Fear of mushroom poisoning pervades every culture sometimes reaching phobic extremes. The term mycophobic describes those individuals and cultures who look upon fungi with fear and loathing. The English and Irish epitomize mycophobic cultures. In contrast, mycophilic societies can be found throughout Asia and Eastern Europe, especially among Polish, Russian, and Italian peoples. Yeah. These societies have enjoyed a long history of mushroom use, with as many as hundred common names to describe the mushroom varieties they know. An investment banker named Art Gordon Blossom intensively studied the use of mushrooms by diverse cultures. His studies concentrated on the use of mushrooms by Mesoamerican, Russian, English, and Indian cultures. With the French mycologist Dr. Roger Hunt, Watson published research 
on psilocybe trees in Mesoamerica and on Alanita mushrooms in Eurasia and Siberia. His publications include Mushrooms, Russia, and History, The Wondrous Mushroom, Michael Latry in Mesoamerica, Maria Sabina and her Mazatec Mushroom Velada, and Persephone's Quest, and Theogens and the Origins of Religion. More than any individual of the 20th century, Wasson kindled interest in enthomycology to its present state of intense study. Wasson died on Christmas Day in 1986. One of Wasson's most provocative findings can be found in Soma, Divine Mushroom of Immortality, where he postulated that the mysterious Soma in Vedic literature, a red fruit leading to spontaneous enlightenment, for those who ingested it, was actually a mushroom. The Vedic symbolism carefully disguised in its true identity, the hallucinogenic fly again. Many cultures portray Amanita muscaria as the archetypal mushroom, invoking both fear and admiration. Although some Vedic scholars disagree with this interpretation, Wassel's exhaustive research still stands. Aristotle, Plato, Homer, and Sophocles all participated in religious ceremonies, where an unusual temple honored Demeter, the goddess of Earth. For over two millennia, thousands of pilgrims journeyed 14 miles from Athens to Ulysses, paying the equivalent of a month's wage for the privilege of attending the annual ceremony. The pilgrims were ritually harassed on their journey to the temple, apparently in good humor. Upon arriving at the temple, they gathered in the initiation hall, a great telestrian. Inside the temple, pilgrims sat in rows that descended stepwise to a hidden central chamber from which a fungal concoction was served. An odd feature was an array of columns beyond any apparent structural need whose designed purpose escapes archaeologists. The pilgrims spent the night together and reportedly came away forever changed. In this pavilion crowded with pillars, ceremonies occurred known by historians as the Ulysian Mysteries. No revelation of the ceremony secrets could be mentioned under the punishment of imprisonment or death. These ceremonies continued until repressed in the early centuries of the Christian era. In 1977, at a mushroom conference on the Olympic Peninsula, Wasson, Albert Hoffman, and Karl Rock first postulated that the Ulyssian mystery centered on the use of psychoactive fungi. Their papers were later published in a book entitled The Road to Ulysses, unveiling the secret of the mysteries. That Aristotle and other founders of Western philosophy undertook such intellectual adventures, and that the secret ceremony persisted for nearly 2,000 years, underscores the profound impact that fungal rites have had on the evolution of Western consciousness. I'd like to share this statement once again. Mycotopia. Can you see that? There we go. Mycotopia. An environment wherein ecological equilibrium is enhanced through the judicious use of fungi for the betterment of all life forms. And there you have it, folks. Thank you.